What is up ladies and gentlemen, this is Jeff Benjamin with iDownload Blog. I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your iOS device. In this case, I'm running this on my iPhone 5S uh, from start to finish and install Cydia. Uh, so this tutorial will show you everything you need to do to jailbreak and install Cydia. Now the first thing, there are some prerequisites, prerequisites to this. First thing you need to do is completely back up, restore your device. That's the way I recommend doing it. Uh, it's up to you whether you want to follow my advice on doing that, but I, I definitely recommend that you start off with a clean, fresh installation of iOS, and that is what I've done here. So this is just a complete restore via iTunes. Make sure you do the restore via iTunes. Uh, you don't want to do an over-the-air update and do go like that. You want a fresh, clean install of iOS, and that will make the Pongu jailbreak go a lot smoother. You will encounter less problems, and it may just work the first time. So I'm going to show you uh, how to do this. Now, Another prerequisite is that you have to use Windows because there is no Mac version of Pongu just yet for iOS 8. Uh, so you have either two choices there. You can go to a friend's house, use a Windows box uh, if you don't have Windows, uh, or you can run a virtual machine, which is what I do. I do have a, a post and video that shows you how to do that as well if you want to learn how to do that. It's very simple to uh, load a virtual machine and run that on your Windows on your uh, Mac. So. Um, now that we've got all that out of the way, let's just get started. The first thing you want to do is just set up your iPhone. Um, go through the setup, the initial setup. So I'm just going to go in, put in my Wi-Fi password and all that jazz. Let's see. Okay. I think that's the right password. And I'm just going to set up my phone like I normally would. Set up as a new phone. I'll skip the step about the Apple ID. Don't use... I'll skip the uh, passcode as, as well after I agree here twice. Uh, set up Touch ID later. Continue. Don't add passcode. Continue. Uh, use Siri. Don't send. Get started. All right, so here we are. And let me just prove it to you that this is, if you get that carrier update, you can just update. Let me just prove it to you that this is iOS um, 8.1, which I am running here. So I'm just going to go to General and go to about and you can see iOS 8.1 right there okay so now that we've got all that squared up squared away let's go to our Windows machine here here's my Windows box you can see I already have the Pongu file downloaded which we all need I also have iTunes installed make sure you install iTunes um, to download the Pongu file you can find the download link from the uh, downloads page on iDownload blog or you can just go to pongu.io and download it from there uh, so make sure again you have iTunes installed and that you have Pongu on your desktop as well now what I like to do is I like to just run iTunes once just to make sure it's recognizing my device. Uh, so it appears that it has. You see, welcome to your iPhone. So once iTunes recognizes your device, you can just close out of iTunes. It's just a good thing to check that to make sure that Pongu can read uh, your iPhone because it's all in Chinese, so it's kind of hard to denote what it's actually saying at this point at this point in time. Um, so the next thing you want to do is just right-click on Pongu, select Run as Administrator, select Yes here, and you'll see the interface come up and then eventually you'll see where it detects your iPhone and in this case it's an iPhone 5s so you should see iPhone 5s yada yada you see 8.1 there now you want to just uncheck this little check mark box here make sure that's unchecked and then go down and then click the jailbreak button which is in blue alright so that's all we do super simple all right so we're just gonna go through the whole process here this will take a while but it shouldn't take too long uh, you can see the process is just speeding on through. Uh, this should work perfectly fine if you follow my instructions as far as like restoring to a factory restore with iTunes. You should have virtually no problems running Pongu if you do it um, like we show you here. So you can see it's about halfway finished. And just be patient. It looks like our phone is respringing or rebooting. All right. And again, just be patient. This takes a little time, but it's worth the wait, especially now that Cydia is so easy to install from the Pongu tool. All right. So you'll see the loading bar there. And you can see 
We're almost done, almost at the finish line here. In just a few more seconds, we should be completed. So in the meantime, while we're waiting, go ahead and like this video if you appreciate this tutorial. Also, make sure you leave a comment below, but definitely like the video. That really helps me out, um, helps out the channel as well. And subscribe if you haven't already done so. It's just a good time to mention that. All right, so our phone is almost back up. And let's see what happens. All right, so the hello screen, just swipe. Uh, we're already connected to Wi-Fi, so you can just click the next button or tap the next button. Oh, well, apparently it's still not finished, so give it a second. <laughs> I got a little over anxious there. But if it just blacks out like that, that's perfectly fine. Uh, apparently it's doing its last little reboot. Now the Pongu tool is actually finished running on my Windows machine. So we're, we're done with the Windows box. Nothing else to do on Windows. In fact, you can just close it out now. Uh, close out a Pongu and we are good. All right, so now we're just focused solely on the iPhone. And once we come up, you should see the Pongu tool on your, on your home screen. And from there, you can install Cydia. All righty. Almost there, just felt it vibrate. All right, now we can slide it up. Just try not to get over, over anxious there. All right, so we're already connected to our network. Just wanna tap next. I'll set up Touch ID later. Don't set up Touch ID just yet until you update um, with Cydia. So make sure you do that. Let's continue. Don't add a passcode yet until you update with Cydia. All right, get started. Now, the Pongu tool, if you get this, just tap done, it's fine. The Pongu tool should be on the second page. There it is. Now you just fire that up. And if you get that blue screen or reboot, that's fine. Sometimes that happens, uh, just don't worry about it. We'll try it again. Eventually, hopefully these guys will push an update for English translation and the um, a Mac version as well. I'm definitely looking forward to that. Okay, so now we're back up. <laughs> and we should be almost ready here. Okay, yeah, just ignore the storage errors. All right, now there's the Pongu tool. Load that up. There we go. All right, so that's how we like it. And um, you may need a refresh. Hasn't displayed the uh, contents just yet. And maybe downloading those contents or whatnot. Not sure. Let's just close it out. Just be patient. Nothing just yet. Looks like it's loading though, so just hold your horses. See, that's my problem. I'm not patient. I, don't, I need to follow my own advice. So just give it a few. Let's see if this loads up here for us. Looks like there's already probably some stuff there. Yeah, there's already stuff here, so. Um, servers are probably getting pretty hammered right now. That's probably why you're seeing um, it take a while. Or it could just be my terrible Wi-Fi. I'm going to disable my Wi-Fi here. That wouldn't surprise me. Let's try it again. There we go. Probably my Wi-Fi. So, yeah, if you get that problem, just disconnect from your Wi-Fi connection. So there we go. Install Cydia, the first thing at the very top. Now just tap Install, and it's downloading. And we should be almost done. All right, now just respring. And folks, when we come back up, we should have the latest version of Cydia, Cydia 1.1.14. And this version of Cydia is awesome. It has multitasking. It has landscape support for the 6 Plus. It has the uh, upgraded resolution for the larger devices. And there we go, folks. There is Cydia in all its glory. Preparing file system. Everything you would expect from an iOS jailbreak is finally here. All right, so now we're rebooting or respringing at least. Yeah, 
And there we go. So here is Cydia. Latest version of Cydia, apparently. Let's see if it's actually the latest version. Let's see if it has landscape support. And that'll tell us. Yep, this is the latest version of Cydia. Folks, there you go. Go out there. You can, of course, refresh to get all the, the latest packages and changes. Go out there, download your favorite jailbreak apps and jailbreak tweaks. Uh, again, like Cydia has uh, multitasking so that it, it stays. It allows you to uh, continue working while you open up other apps and things like that. I don't, I don't think that'll, uh, I think that interrupted the refresh. But as far as like browsing Cydia and um, browsing particular pages for packages, um, you can do that. You can exit out of the Cydia app, come back to it, and still continue where you left off without having to reload, which is really cool. So you'll ne next need to uh, upload or, I'm sorry, install the Untether, the latest Untether. Uh, so you want to do that before uh, you finish. So we're just going to upgrade. And this will require you to uh, perform a reboot on your on your device, more than likely. There you go. So again, like I said, I wanted to walk you through this from A to Z, and that's what we're doing right now so you guys can see this and know all the steps and the entire process involved. And in a second, we'll be back up. And we have one more test to do. I'm just going to set a passcode to show you guys that the passcode works fine uh, on this device and I can reboot with no problems. All right, swipe to unlock. All right, I'm going to go back to Cydia and just see any packages that are up there. All right, so the Pongu Untether is good. So we're completely updated, running the latest version of Cydia. Awesome. So let's go to Settings, and let's go to Touch ID and Passcode, and let's set a passcode. I'm just going to make it 1111. All right, so we have a passcode set. I'm going to lock the device just to show you guys. All right, so now I'm just going to reboot because this is one of the major issues that Cydia was having uh, prior to this update. And that was with passcodes and uh, being stuck in a reboot loop when you had a passcode enabled. So we're going to just nip that in the bud, make sure that all works, and then we're good to go. You can officially go out there and feel completely comfortable um, that you can jailbreak your device right now um, and enjoy all the uh, fruits of the labors of the Pongu team in of Sorik. Okay, almost up. Alrighty, so there we go. So we now should have to put in our passcode, but you can see no reboot loop yet. <laughs> I don't think there is going to be one. There we go. So we are absolutely good, folks. Cydia, jailbroken. Everything's good. Everything works. You have a very shiny new version of Cydia. Folks, please let me know what you guys think down below in the comments section. Also, remember to like this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.